just be my imagination, but uh, I feel like we're not alone. You can all go about your business now. He's not going anywhere. It's okay, folks. Go ahead home. And thanks for the welcome. Well, you two have a lot to catch up on, I, I expect. Um, I think you better go. <sighs> you handled that well. Thanks. So, where to? Town Hall? You first. Why me? Well, in case the vicious guard dogs haven't been fed. So you can be a gentleman and help me down. Oh. basement. Nice. Well, there's a lot room here before they put the monument down again. Hey, the gift from Roosevelt. Stan Keller told me about it. Your name's on there. So are the others. I knew all these guys. We both did. We went to school with most of them. You really don't remember? I'm sorry. We used to sneak in here all the time when we were kids. This was our, our secret place. You, me, Stevie Wardlow, Tully Wentworth. That's why you brought me here? Think of it as a stroll down memory lane. Dad said if I took you places we used to go and showed you things only we knew about that it might help you remember. So, we're here for purely medical reasons. Not entirely. I'm trying to make up my own mind about you being Luke. <laughs> Join the club. So what do you think? Jury's still out. Fair enough. Any other secret places I should know about? <laughs> no, really, it, it fueled my dream. There's no way. That can't be true. No, I'm serious. <laughs> okay. You're going to have to start making sense of this. You wanted to be a lawyer because of the Majestic. Explain that to me. Well, we used to go to the movies all the time when I was a kid. And once when I was 11, the movie playing that week was The Life of Emile Zola. Right, and Paul Muni, about the Dreyfus Affair. Great picture. You remember movies, but you don't remember your life? Yeah. Weird, huh? It's unbelievable. Anyways, in the movie, when Zola stood up in court, and he accused the French government of forfeiting its honor for wrongly accusing an innocent man. Well, Zola wasn't a lawyer, of course, but 
The way he spoke? Oh. Oh, I decided right then and there that, that that's what I wanted to be when I grew up. Just from then? Just? Oh, come on, it was great. In the presence of this tribunal, which is the representative of human justice, before you, gentlemen of the jury, before France, before the whole world, I swear, <laughs> Dreyfus is innocent. By all that I've won, by all that I've written to spread the spirit of France, I swear that Dreyfus is innocent. May all that melt away. May my name perish if Dreyfus not be innocent. He is innocent. It's pretty good stuff, huh? Not bad at all. Sun's going. Come on. Is this another secret place? Our special one. We used to come up here all the time to watch the sunset. And that's what made it special. Well, this is also where we had our first kiss. We were 14. That is special. Wish I could remember that. Me too. We were in love, weren't we? Yeah. <coughs> what was that? Oh, oh, nothing. Mm, I'm fine. Mm, really. You don't tell? Uh, just, just ignore it. It's going away. <laughs> so were we going to be married? Uh, when you got back from overseas, we were, we were engaged just before you shipped out. Is there anything I can do to help you with that? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's uh, something that only we knew about. Well, tell me. Oh, no, 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 I... I think I think I'd I'd rather I'd rather die. Come first. on, your father said any little thing could jog my memory. <laughs> 